Hello folks, exciting times here, old EV BMW HQ. Before us we have our Model 3 drive unit inverter with our logic board removed and in this package we have prototype zero thanks to a very kind patron. So in here we have a 3D printed version of our version one logic board. So we will call this prototype zero. And prototype zero has basically saved us a lot of money and um, headaches. So let's go ahead and sit him on here and see what actually happens. Now I have not attempted to drill out the um, the holes for the FETs or anything like that at the minute. But the first thing I did spot uh, when I just sat this board on here uh, was that while it seems all of our mounting holes do indeed line up, and I'll give you a better view of those in due course, um, let's just say that I screwed up and there's something stopping our board from sitting down here um, at the very top. So if we have a look in here, we're going to see that there's this little projection um, on top of our high voltage uh, battery connector. And we do not have on our prototype a matching location for it. And if we look at our original uh, factory logic board in the same way, we'll see that we have this little assembly of uh, holes and pads here and that's designed to connect to this guy. So long story short yours truly here screwed up and completely forgot to put the um, pads and the holes in here for the high voltage uh, DC connector high voltage interlock that's what the two pins on that guy do. So what I'm going to do is just so we can proceed here going to take a scalpel and just cut a little relief out of our board here so we can sit this guy on and see how everything else lines up. Alright, so let's line up this pin here. There's a pin, there's a locating pin hole here. There he is. So if I just put a mark on the board like that, probably going to go Something like that, just to let our uh, let our pads here sit through, and then we can see how everything else looks. So we're looking at guess something like that. I'm going to just nibble this guy out of here now, hopefully. There we go. Doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to let those guys uh, fit in there. Which hopefully... It will now do. So let's see how terrible this looks. All right, uh, prototype zero over here. Okay. Might need a little more, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. No, I think we're okay, actually. Now, when I first tried this, I was getting some of the, um, it does look like everything lines up just on a very first look. So the next move now, we've obviously got our FETs uh, connections here, sorry, yeah we've got our FET connections here and we have um, the high voltage 
positive pins coming up here. Oh, there's one there. Yeah, he's coming up. That pin's lined up. That hole's lined up. That hole's lining up. Oh, they're actually, oh, they're coming through. Holy crap. Right now, I don't, maybe I don't need to do anything. Wow. No way. Yeah. I had purchased some of these little uh, 1.5 and that's 2 millimeter. I think these are some 1.5 millimeter drills. I thought I was going to have to just uh, ream out the holes a bit to, to fit, but this thing's actually, yeah, all the fets have came true. <laughs> you can't really see them too well, I guess, but um, yeah, of course, this board doesn't have all the, this doesn't have, or this inverter, I should say, doesn't have them all populated. That positive is true. That positive is true. That positive is true. That positive is true. That locating dowel is in. Let's get you guys up on a, a better view here. So apologies, folks. I know it's not going to be super clear to you, but, um, Let's see here now. It looks as if everything on this is pretty much bang on. Um, even these guys here for mounting the mounting the the what you call that the multi-way connector, I guess. Now this one here, there's a locating dowel here, and this hole seems a little bit too far back. I think that hole there needs to come forward I'd say by maybe about one and a half maybe two millimeters um, so I'm gonna just see I might just yeah that's the only thing that's not sitting down right now everything else is actually sitting down absolutely perfectly so let's um, let's do a little uh, yeah, this dowel hole here, definitely, that hole wants to go up and to the right slightly. Uh, let me see what I can do just very quickly. I might be able to just get a bit of it. Thing here, let me do that. Okay, so just opened out that hole a little bit just with a screwdriver. And this dowel fits on here now perfectly. So we got this dowel on, we got this dowel on. Um, all the fets are true. Yeah, here, 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 not here, yeah. Here, here, here. Yeah, fets are true, positive, positive, HV positive, HV positive. Obviously this will be our um, HVIL here, we're going to modify the board for that, but I didn't even have to use any of my little drill bits here. So the next thing now is, I'm going to get the uh, fasteners and see if we can actually screw the board down onto the inverter. Now, just looking at that, I think some of the holes are not 100% perfect. Um, like the holes themselves look to be up higher yeah the holes are these ones are definitely i don't know how practical it'll be for you folks to see that but for example this hole here looks to be up and to the right more so it needs to come down kind of on a diagonal um this one here kind of the same uh, but all that is kind of um great advantage of having a prototype like this that we can uh, work with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say that fits. Yeah, that one's a fitter. Even though they are a little bit off, I think they do. Oh, that one not so much. Yeah, that one not so much as well. This one and this one look okay. How about this guy? Yeah, he's good. Let's 
So I don't think this one's gonna fit. You could probably force it, it's just kind of loose enough that it would, I think. Yeah, it'll go in all right, but again, keep in mind this is a plastic board, so it's gonna be a bit more likely to um, flex around. That one's going in. Yeah, that one's going in. Well, maybe that one was the wrong size I put in there, was it? No, that's definitely not. That's definitely not happy. And that one's, yeah, that one's not happy either there. Okay. So some of our fasteners fit, some of them don't. Again, this is what we're trying to find out here. So I put little marks on the board here, just on the holes that don't... Um, line up and just in what direction so we'll be able to adjust those and see where that brings us then. So I'm sure the eagle eyed amongst you will have already spotted this but one other thing we don't have here that I've just picked up on is if we look here at our uh, pads for our heat sink um, temperature sensors uh, what we don't have are these square cutouts here as you'll see this should be here for these guys to clip in so none of them have these again here on this one if we see there's kind of a hole and then a square cutout it should be around this area here so I just put some circles around these here so that I know I have to work on these guys I know I have to work on these whole uh, locations here and obviously our HVIL connector here. Now I think um, that's probably enough to work on for now. Uh, I'm comfortable enough that the multi-way connector is in the right place. I was going to go ahead on this video and actually remove this from the the logic board but rather than doing that I'm going to see if I can actually source this guy if anyone knows please let me know down below in the comments um, it'd be great to be able to have that so you didn't have to take it off and the other obviously big one that we have to deal with is our uh, current sensors that I'm gonna not rush this at the minute because obviously taking these guys off is going to be something of a challenge so folks I'm gonna leave it there then with our prototype zero uh, gotta say I'm super happy that um, that we went this way before going with a full PCB uh, even a bare PCB would have been uh, a rather expensive mistake here when you look at the things we had like our high voltage interlock um, connector missing uh, some of these holes here for the fasteners need a little bit of a tweak and on obviously then we've missed these um, holes here for the heatsink temperature sensor mounting clips so uh, before we wrap up I just wanted to say a very big thank you to everyone who after the last video um, made contributions towards the cost of the prototypes I wasn't kind of intending for that to be the case um, but I want to say thank you very much to everyone uh, that did help out on that and it's definitely um, it's definitely going to make life a bit easier for us in terms of, of ordering prototypes but I don't want to pull the trigger on those boards yet until we've as much chance of having something work here um, as possible on the first out of the uh, out of the out of the barn as you say literally in this case out of the barn so folks as always don't forget to give my videos a big thumbs down don't share them with your friends uh, do check the links in the description for uh, github open inverter forum and all that good stuff and um, hopefully uh, next time we will see you with a hopefully another one of these 3d printed versions I'm gonna 
um, see if I can uh, get my friend to do me another one once I have these modifications made. I uh, will make sure that we have as much um, going on here, giving ourselves a good enough chance of a fit. Uh, I have ordered from Mauser with some of the money that you folks donated, things like the gate driver chips and um, other transistors, this transistor here and a few other bits and bobs that uh, JLC aren't going to be able to fit for us. So that's it folks. Uh, just want you to know that I am working on it and we are making slow if somewhat uh, steady progress so we'll see you in the next super boring episode and until then hmm happy pcb 3d printing